still no dice no dice Carefully advancing in a tight formation. Using exactly the kind of cover the others were using before. Still want to try to uh, uh, to pull off the Overwatch trap. I'll give you a sporting chance. Normally there is a huge explodable crate out there, but without remote start, no point in trying. All right, that is the epitome of Overwatch crawl I'm currently doing, but I'm forced to do that because I'm so desperate for a good engagement. Very nice, very nice. Hit that mutant pretty well. Come on, let's kill the mutant. Nice. Good shot. I'm up. Up. I'm a okay, we got one over here. Probably cannot do much about them. But we got an awesome explosion going on. That's probably the best bet that we could take. Pistol shot for a massive explosion. Okay, a grenade could take out two of them. We don't want to get any closer, that's a given. We still got plenty of cover removal. This here should not trigger the Chosen. Yeah, let's go with the normal grenade. Cover removal. And we can kill the mutant. Which is certainly the highest priority target. So let's start with him. I don't like his position a lot. Hmm. Gotta be careful. I don't want uh, any poison spit to affect us.
We're still pretty close together, so Poison Spit is a real threat. Uh, unfortunately, that was the worst timing to miss a shot. Moving to here is definitely begging for Poison Spit. Trying to break up the formation a bit. Moving to here, still likely to get poison spat on, but it's a good position, it's a full cover position. And, and we could take an overwatch shot is what I was about to say, but nope, that is not the case. Moving up. Unbreakable cover. But we still could throw a grenade if needed. Like the idea of marking her. We even hit on top. Well, that's not bad. Reloading and let's take a shot. I think it's probably going to be 50 50 ish, yep. One point of damage is all we need. Let's get over here. Not good enough. We could kill it with a grenade. Almost looks like we're forced to do that. just pull him that would be incredible bad because we're sending in the open Alright, moving on top of the roof. I'm going to use that explos uh, explosion next turn. For now, let's use a protocol. He's immune to overboard shots, fair enough. 
But let's get into full cover so that we're not the target. Ugh. Worst possible timing for an advanced mech to enter the battlefield. Oh boy, that is bad timing. That's straight up awful timing. Good, well, hmm. Still half cover. really hit more than that one unit and with three armor we will not be able to do anything if we do not shred properly Such a such a troll move to first of all summon. And then basically leave it be. So now we gotta deal with the summoning. Plus it's overwatch. Horrible. And our best chance to hit him and destroy him is just evaporated because uh, the best chance actually would have been to use blue screen rounds and hit this guy no shredding this is what it comes down to Reloading. Marking and shredding. Should have done that beforehand. Should have done that beforehand. My bad. Yeah, I can't really hit the hunter. And we won't be able to kill because we don't have blue screen rounds. Let's not cluster up. Same here with our sniper. If we're clustering up, we're going to die. So might as well go a tiny bit back. That way the advanced mech is not going to use its uh, rockets. We missed four shots, most of which are 70% plus. And there are going to be consequences for that, of course. Fortunately, he is not bleeding out, but essentially effectively dying. Blue screen rounds at least does what it is supposed to do.
Good, we're still in full cover. Might as well start to mark him. Can't afford to lose another one. So let's make sure that the ones with the lowest cover and the lowest hit points get some uh, get some uh, aid protocol. We unfortunately lost our last grenade. Not sure why he is just double moving. Doesn't really make sense, but who am I to judge, right? Gotta make sure that we get him. Perfect, that starts shredding him nicely. move in and hit him but we won't be able to kill him Reloading. don't want to leave the position here we have no other really good place to go Up here seems to be fine, and we can even take one shot. We definitely can see that the armor is the biggest problem. Alright. Let's hope he's again do, uh, not going to do anything. With that strategy, we might even win. On the rifle shot into a miss is good. Getting back into full cover. Let's mark him. That worked well. Okay. We're going to efficiently use our A protocol. Bones is in kill range. We don't want that to happen, of course. Not the best way of dealing with him. Not a solid head. I suppose that's not bad for a human. Got it. Moving up. Slowly but surely dealing damage. We still need to find ways of shredding him.
Yeah, we. It's just not a really good uh, angle for us. Problem is, there are very limited good angles. And a lot of really bad places to be at. Let's see, I could start uh, flanking him. But normally, you should use pistols in order to flank. Snipers are supposed, um, unless you do have, uh, of course, unless you do have the pistol skills, snipers are supposed to be in the background. Pretty much a nail biter. Interestingly enough, he seems to be running out of steam as well. Continuing to mark him. Finally, another hit. He's shredded. And we're hitting. That's good. to get uh, closer because that would be level. I need to reload. All right, hunkering down. Trying to flank him soon. All right. can't go on for uh, forever we are very lucky with the shot so far gotta make sure that we're ending this so we're going all in this year we'll at least get a proximity bonus Unfortunately, he's still dodging. That ah, is disgusting. Let's make sure Baller has at least some cover. to overwatch could have just not done it you asked for it. all right i hope we can get a promotion out of it was pretty tough. Fortunately, we lost a grenadier in the process of doing that. Nonetheless, given what we were up against, well, that was pretty damn uh, close. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Done. All right, let us try to move out of here. Wow, that was an intense battle.
Good. We know there are no more enemies because the aliens did not get a turn. I can get there. That means we're taking the very closest position to the exit. And fun fact, I think we used literally, literally every single item that we could have used with the exception of one grenade that was on the grenadier that died. Every other item without an exception had been used. Good, and now we're going to get out of here. Taking the vial. Yes, please. There are the potential reinforcements. I don't care about them. We're just going to run out of here. Good. At least, as far as I'm concerned, the Avatar project is not yet fully done. We got a chance to save Earth still. And besides the one loss, I think the overall mission went relatively smooth. zero extra uh, skills and we only had literally one uh, consumable which was um, the blue screen rounds right or one item besides normal grenades uh, grenades luckily we did not evoke everyone yet because that's why we would have needed to deal with overwatch let's see if we can still kill one of them I would guess the answer is no. Well, we, we got a bonus kill. That's good. And that means we can get out of here. Well, believe it or not, that was probably one of the harder uh, Black Side missions that I've played. And... I'm still miffed that we lost one soldier. Um, however, without the blue screen rounds, we probably wouldn't have made it. Uh, advanced maxes are no joke. Archons, not as well. And Spectres, certainly not as well either. Good. So, memorialize. Good job. Unfortunately, we lost her, Corporal Andre. Good, let's take revival protocol. It is important uh, that she became a sergeant. We get remote start, which is a fantastic ability. Blood trail is good as well, but we're keeping the XCOM points for now. And we got ourselves a scope and an expanded magazine. Both pretty good as well. 125 supplies, that is good, very good. Can we do anything with the money at hand? I think we're going to build con uh, build up um, more contacts. For now, let's empty this one. And how about... Resistance communications 160. Oh, that is bad. Okay, another idea. 
build items, weapon upgrades. The cannons, 125 and 60. The rifle is even too expensive. Yeah, let's get mech cannons. Trying to play catch up when you have almost no supplies, right? No items are currently built. Can we build something? Experimental ammunition, yes. Heavy weapons, yes. Grenades, yes. Okay, so we got one core. And I would say we're just getting an hmm, another exosuit, maybe. Yes, let's go for another exosuit. Good. That happens in five days. And let's take a look at our armory. So we still had enough soldiers overall. We got ourselves a Lieutenant Grenadier now. And Sergeant a Specialist, a Templar. So those are our top soldiers. I will keep the Psionics in training for now and try to level the others whenever possible. Certainly way too many sharpshooters. I don't know what what the creator of that safe game was thinking. You need specialists, man. If you're going uh, for psyops, uh, then they need support. Specialists are great um, and grenadiers are great as well because uh, both of them complement these classes uh, fantastically. Sharpshooters are probably the worst um, uh, synergy with uh, with uh, PSYOPs. That is increased regional income and I think we're going to investigate it because we're just about breaking even. If we're increasing our regional income it will help us in the long term because we're so starved for money. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that we had another mission here. My bad. That was one for Intel and an engineer. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Probably wouldn't have been able to do that at the moment. Good. We got two psionics uh, in training. And I can see that uh, they are tra uh, that they are very helpful. Shism, insanity. He's picking the right skills. Definitely solace. And. Those psionics are almost at the highest level. Let's review our options. An engineer and a hidden event. Don't want to deal with side traps at this point. Scientist, that might be an option. Hack the hidden computer. I like it. Yeah, let's go for the scientist. I think he's a bit short on scientists. Yep, overall. So that's a good idea. Let's furthermore see what else we can do. I mean, we have little supplies, so that's not going to um, help us. Let's take a look at the dark events. Oh, he's not playing with permanent dark events. There is hope. The black market might be open at some point and that means we can sell and regain supplies that way. So that's actually really good news. Anyways, uh, this brings us to the end of uh, this episode, guys. I uh, thank you for watching and next episode we're going to continue with a mission in North Africa. 
what well, we're trying to go, uh, get Dr. Kirill Smirnov, a scientist. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next run. Bye bye.